So here's how I'm gonna make some Bobcat tacos. And y'all, you've seen these recipes that I've shown you are, uh, all the ones that I've done are super easy. You can do it with anything. I mean, y'all know how to make tacos. The biggest thing is taking the meat from the critters when you got them, whether it's bobcats, raccoons, whatever. I'm just trying to show you that it's good, uh, it's easy to prepare, and in my opinion, it's worthwhile doing. So you can see what I got here. Um, I got my shredded bobcat meat. Now, I just boiled this, it's a high quarter, bobcat high quarter. I boiled it till it was done, let it cool off, and then shredded it. Do the same thing in a crock pot. And the good thing about that is you can throw a barbecue sauce in it, make bobcat barbecue, you can do whatever you want with it. So I'm taking, I, I still got some that I probably am gonna do a little barbecue with, but so I've got my, my shredded bobcat meat. Now it's fully cooked. So first off, I am going to throw some bell peppers and onions in a pan, let them get translucent, let them cook down. And then I'm gonna throw my uh, bobcat and mushroom in the pan, just to heat up the meat, cook the mushrooms, and uh, I'll throw in a little taco seasoning or fajita seasoning to uh, give it the flavor. So I've got some bacon grease melting in my pan. It won't take long for these things to start cooking down and we'll be, uh, we'll be ready to add, add the other ingredients. So while that stuff's cooking down, I'm gonna mix up some guacamole real quick. And I don't know if you like guacamole or not. I like guacamole. The only problem that I've found is some of the, I don't like all of the pre-made guacamole in the store. Some of it's pretty good, but some of it is not. Um, but what, what we have found, my wife and I, we both like it. And uh, she likes to buy fresh avocados. So we'll buy the uh, fresh avocados and then you can get these packs of guacamole dip mix and just sprinkle that in with your avocados and make your own. And to me, that's as good or better than any of the ones in the store. That extra seasoning, um, I mean, you can, you can go hog wild with adding tomatoes and cilantro and onions and things like that. But to me, I don't know what that seasoning mix is, but that seasoning mixed in with it is, uh, that, that's really good. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just pitting these avocados, scooping them out, and then I'm gonna mix that guacamole mix. You can find it in the, uh, in the fresh produce section sometimes. You can also find it where all the, like the taco mixes and all are too. Sometimes it's hard to find, sometimes they move it around, but the last few times I found it in the, where all the taco mixes and all are. So then, see, got a little, a little bit of the shell there. Pull that off. to it. You just mash your avocados, dump it in, and then stir it around. And it calls for two to three ripe avocados, but you know how avocados turn so fast that uh, two, two works pretty good. So we got our peppers and onions cooking up real nice. Gonna throw my mushrooms in there. I just like mushrooms. And then uh, throw my meat in there. I'm not measuring any of this out. I just eyeball it and roll with it. I'm not trying to make a huge, a huge pack of anything here. I'm just uh, doing some for me to eat and for demonstration purposes. So now,
I'm not going to do this whole pack of taco seasoning, but I am going to do a little bit. Yeah, probably pretty good right there. Because that calls for, calls for a pound. We're probably, I don't know, maybe a half pound. Probably not a half pound. Cooked. But I'm sure that, uh, that bobcat hind quarter, I should have waited. It was probably, it was probably a pound and a half, two pounds. You can see pretty well though, that's that's got the, uh, looks like our seasoning's coated everything pretty good. That's, that's all I'm really going for. So now while that warms up, I'm just gonna take a couple of my tortillas because I like them kind of soft, pre-softened. Throw them in there. Cut that heat down and uh, it's gonna be ready here in just a few minutes. All right, our tortillas are soft. Everything's warmed up. And really, once you get the, the, uh, the meat, and once it's boiled, it, it takes no time to put this together. Scoop it out into your tortillas there. Or put it on nachos, that's what I was thinking. Really is, man, this would be good on some nachos. There will be some full tacos here. Boom, that's it. If you like a little sour cream, well, first off, I like a little cheese. Throw some cheese right on top of the meat and all. See if it'll melt down a little bit. Got some garden fresh diced tomato. I'm gonna throw on there. Got my fresh made guacamole. Might do one guacamole and one with some Salsa, that'll work. But with the salsa, I'm put some sour cream on there. This is all mine, so that's all right. I like a little spice. I might throw a couple of jalapenos on there. Got a little lime on hand, so I'll give each one of them a little squirt of lime. That looks pretty darn good. All right. So now we dig in. These turn out to be way bigger than I thought they were going to be. Oh, right. Again. Man, there's there's no there's no gamey, there's no wild, there's no crazy taste. That's the I guess that's what I'm trying to portray here, man. 
is uh, there's so many options with the uh, with the wild game and stuff that we do. Just be sure you're careful handling it. I wear rubber gloves. Make sure it's cooked well done. But this is good, and this is something you know you get the small tortilla shells. Um, or do it on a big platter of nachos and it's something that you can you know take to a party or a gathering where there's other people around and kind of help introduce other people to wild game I mean in my experience folks are certain for a lot of folks are intrigued by wild game something crazy and, and to me I honestly think it's the part of it is being able to tell other people that they've tried it before you know so and when they're at a party somewhere, they say, oh man, this party I was at a couple weeks ago or last Christmas or whatever, I had bobcat tacos. Man, that was so good. You know, it's just something kind of a little personal brag or achievement, you know, that not a lot of folks have, have uh, done before. And I feel like that's a lot of the, the drive of trying new stuff is um, for some people to just try it, but to be able to say that they've tried it, you know. But uh, stuff like this, it's, it's really easy. And it's easy to do and, and put in a form where you can go and share it with other folks and kind of enjoy the experience and let other people experience it. So that's what I'm just trying to key in on and point out with some of these videos. So I hope you tried. If you do, let me know. If you got some other good idea recipes, let me know. I, I kept these real basic and simple, but um, you know the sky's the limit. You can do all kinds of things with them. But um, next time you're out hunting or trapping and you get a bobcat, instead of just uh, taking it to the taxidermist or um, you know, skinning it and chunking the the carcass. You might uh, cut the back straps if it's a big one, or cut the back hams off of it. And you might be uh, surprised. You might not let that go so easy again. Y'all enjoy.